a day early. This is our jet engine, yeah. also known as our heater. But I think we have to go get it. No offense, Nikon, we're not trying to hurt your feelings, but mm -hmm. we gotta up level. Mm -hmm. but don't worry, little guy, there's still a place for you. Oh, am I gonna be replaced? <laughs> oh, Nikon's getting a big brother. We got the goods. I even put them in a seatbelt. All right, we're good. Uh-oh, got the car stuck. Got a pretty good running start, but I didn't make it up the hill. One of the things we've been working on a lot in the past few years is transitioning our income online. We've been trying to use the tools and the knowledge we have at our disposal to get creative about our income so that we could live anywhere. When we moved to Idaho to start our homestead, we figured that we could try documenting our journey because we thought it was a pretty unique thing that we were doing and if we had a passion to get out of the rat race, we thought there was a good chance others would wanna do the same thing. So we thought we might as well share what we learned with the rest of the world. We started growing this community of like-minded people that did want to do something similar and we found that other people did find our videos useful. Me, personally, I went from being that awkward, shy girl in my college photography class that hated cameras, I hardly knew anything about them. Jesse and I challenged ourselves to incorporate this into our daily lives. This box represents just miles and miles of personal progress, and we have all these opportunities now at our fingertips that we couldn't even fathom two years ago. Today, I have the credit card out, and I'm telling Jesse, Jesse, we have to buy this camera. It is time. I just, I feel it in my bones. This is just going to make our life so much better. On this journey specifically, there's a lot of things that we have one opportunity to capture the moment. And when our camera doesn't turn on or it takes too long to turn on or we're doing it as the sun's setting and we don't have quite enough light, that's really frustrating because we miss all of these money shots. Shots that really, really matter to us. And for just a little more money, we can have a tool that's incredibly reliable and doesn't limit our creativity in the slightest. All right, now that you know way too much about me and why this box is so important, Let's unbox this. All right, so we got a manual. You guys don't care about that. There's plenty of unboxing videos on YouTube. Looks like it fits your hand really good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Are you sniffing a camera? Hmm, smells good. Does it smell like it'll help us build a house? You know, in a weird way, I think it does. Like, it has that faint smell that indirectly it will help us build our house. Should I taste it? No, we'll draw the line there. That's being tasted. Awkward. We'll edit that out. We have our bubble wrapped kit lens. I'm excited that this actually zooms to 55 millimeters. Our Nikon took a tumble and it only zooms not very far at all. Can I try the zoom on the Nikon real quick? Yeah. Mm. Hey, it zooms a little bit. Yep, that's it. Have a camera strap, got a battery, and we have a battery charger. Focus, Nikon. <laughs> Oh. 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 I feel like you're killing kittens. Every time it makes that noise, the kitten dies. There we go. If you point it at the sky, it focuses. A really cool thing about this lens, not only does it zoom further than the kit lens, focusing is silent. I don't want to listen to this beautiful sound. <laughs> Wowzers, look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of a sin to have this on our homestead. <laughs> So why the Canon 80D? So out of the box, this comes with a lens that focuses silently, which isn't so important for photography, but it's really important for video. So you're not gonna have to ear, 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 ear in our videos when we're focusing. We can focus on the fly. It has a touch screen. Not only can we pick features uh, with our finger instead of buttons, but we can also touch wherever we want the camera to focus, and that's huge. This has the ability to do time lapses. It has a follow focus. One of the problems we have right now is that 
it doesn't focus on us if we move forward or backward in the frame, which makes shooting video with one person incredibly difficult. It has a better light sensor, which means that it shoots better in low light, which is big for us. A lot of times we start video around four or five in the afternoon when it's getting dark and we either have grainy footage or we have to stop shooting altogether. The resolution is almost double what our current camera is, which means richer and better images. It has a headphone out jack, which means we can listen to the audio as it's shooting, which means that if there's any issues, we can resolve them immediately rather than finding out after we shoot and all the footage is garbage. And it doesn't stop there, but that's what comes to mind right now. So I don't know if you guys have that much self-control, but I've been unboxing this for like an hour and I just want to go play with it. Today we have a couple of different options. We can work or we can adventure. I say we go on an adventure. It's New Year's Day, and although we got home pretty late last night, and the car was not covered in snow, it's covered in snow now. So before we go anywhere, I have to clean the car off. Just so we can see. We're bringing the drone. Maybe. I get to fly this silly thing for once. Gotta feed the wood stove. It's a hungry beast. And our trailer has smelled like a rotting chunk of meat for a while now. And we've looked everywhere and we've taken the trash out. We couldn't figure out what the smell was and we finally found it this morning. Who knew a rotting potato could smell like death? Rotting meat doesn't even smell this bad. No, so. it smells so bad. Do we compost them? They smell like rotting stuff, which smells like compost. <laughs> All right, that's it. Time to explore it. Bye, Bugaboo. Hold down the fort, okay? So what are we doing? Getting ready to go on our hike. Things we're going to bring. Uh, drone. Gloves. iPhone. A tripod. A threat row whistle. What's that for? Like. You're in trouble and you say, ruh -ro. Jesse's face looks like when he's worried about crashing the drone and not getting dinner tonight. We're at the end of our hike. We actually had a really successful drone flight. Ooh, and, and we're kind of pushing our daylight. In extra sketchy conditions. Yeah, we're freezing. Like, is your face frozen? It's pretty cold. Well, Camera, camera's cold and doesn't like this low light either. So, yeah, kind of having a hard time focusing on you. Must be, <laughs> that must mean it's time to wrap it up. Let's go home and eat some warm food. Yeah. We're good. Check, check. Let's get right, the heck out of here. Let's go home. If you want to see what kind of magic we're going to create with this hot mama, guess you're going to have to stick around and subscribe to our channel. Do you guys want to know what my dad's photography face is? Yum. Animal parade. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. The deer's behind the tree, I think. Yeah, excuse me, um, all my turkey friends and I, we want to go buy things. <laughs> um, we're on our way to a turkey convention, so, excuse me. Oh, there goes the deer.